the thing I found about the Egyptians in Ohio was actually from a paper that was written. It's it's postulating it, I guess. They took a lot of the evidence that had, they had been finding and saying this shows that there might have actually been Egyptians there. In a recent interview with Hotep Jesus, Joe Rogan reveals evidence that the lost civilization in the Grand Canyon may have in fact been the Egyptians. The artifact didn't match up to anything on the known record rather than appearing to be of Native American origin as one might expect the object had distinct Egyptian or Tibetan designs. Mm -hmm. Could there have been an entire civilization of Egyptians living here? Mm -hmm. If so, how did they get here? These findings could completely blow up our current understanding of our history. So buckle up and let's explore what secrets the Grand Canyon might reveal about our time on this earth. First things first, let's talk about the sheer size of this geological wonder. The Grand Canyon stretches for approximately 277 miles and plunges as deep as a mile or 1.6 kilometers in some places. It's like a massive tear in the Earth's crust, revealing millions of years of geological history. It's no wonder it's considered one of the world's most awe-inspiring natural formations. As we venture into the Grand Canyon, we'll encounter a mesmerizing array of vibrant colors. The layers of sedimentary rock create a breathtaking display of reds, oranges, yellows, and browns. It's like an artist's palette come to life, showcasing the geological forces that shaped this masterpiece over eons. The rocks exposed in the Grand Canyon are like pages in a book, each one telling a unique story. Some of the oldest rocks in the canyon date back a mind-boggling 1.8 billion years. Can you even fathom the amount of history held within these ancient layers? Geologists have identified several distinct layers in the Grand Canyon, each representing a different era in Earth's history. From the ancient Precambrian rocks to the more recent layers formed during the age of dinosaurs, this canyon is a geological timeline like no other. It's like flipping through the pages of a massive history book written in stone. But the secrets of the Grand Canyon don't end with its geological wonders. This place is also a treasure trove of biological diversity. Its unique combination of ecosystems supports a wide variety of plant and animal species, some of which are found nowhere else on Earth. From soaring eagles to elusive mountain lions, the Grand Canyon is a haven for wildlife enthusiasts and nature lovers alike. Despite advancements in modern archaeology, many secrets of the Grand Canyon remain shrouded in mystery. But recent efforts have led to a significant breakthrough. In 1909, an article in the Arizona Gazette claimed that archaeologists funded by the Smithsonian had discovered evidence of a once thriving civilization hidden in the remote areas of the Grand Canyon. This lost city had an entrance, a mile-long tunnel located 1,000 486 feet below the canyon wall. The city's construction showed remarkable engineering skills, and its central chamber contained hieroglyphic symbols reminiscent of those found in Egypt. Mummified bodies, measuring over nine feet tall, were also discovered, adding to the enigma. The resemblance between this civilization and ancient Egypt has left scientists scratching their heads, hinting at a missing part of history. Scientists and archaeologists have been on a mission to uncover the secrets of the Grand Canyon and shed light on the human civilizations that once thrived there. And boy, have they made some intriguing discoveries. In a recent conversation between Hotep Jesus and Joe Rogan, the topic of ancient Egyptians visiting the Grand Canyon came up. Hotep Jesus mentioned an intriguing discovery he found about Egyptians in Ohio based on a paper from 1937. The paper suggested that evidence found in Ohio could indicate Egyptian presence in the area, including an amulet made of brass near Cincinnati. Hotep Jesus speculated that trade routes may have connected the Egyptians to Ohio, as specific stones found in various parts of the world, including Ohio, were used for tools and arrowheads thousands of years ago. Interestingly, Ohio is also known as the sandstone capital of the world, and the pyramids in Egypt are made of sandstone. Hotep Jesus pointed out that a significant amount of sandstone, 21 times the volume used to build the Great Pyramid, was shipped out of Ohio between 1800 and 1980 to construct buildings worldwide. 
predominantly in the United States. While the connection between Ohio and the Egyptians remains uncertain, the presence of specific stones and the extensive use of sandstone raise intriguing questions about possible ancient trade and influence. Now, let's talk about the time frame. The ruins of human settlements found along the banks of the Colorado River in the Grand Canyon date back a staggering 12,000 years, roughly around the last ice age. Can you imagine the kind of life these ancient people led in this majestic landscape? When you dig deeper into the rocky caves of the Grand Canyon, you'll find hundreds of small figurines shaped like bighorn sheep and deer. Many archaeologists believe that these figurines were used in rituals, possibly for successful hunting. It's like a glimpse into the ancient traditions and beliefs of these early inhabitants. But that's not all. The Grand Canyon is scattered with artifacts, artifacts that hold a sense of mystery and even a touch of the supernatural. Some explorers who dared to take these artifacts experienced eerie and ominous encounters, only finding relief by returning the stolen items to the National Archaeological Museum. It's as if the artifacts hold a power and energy that we can't fully comprehend. During a captivating conversation on Joe Rogan's podcast, Hotep Jesus delved into the intriguing question of whether ancient Egyptians visited the Grand Canyon. Hotep Jesus mentioned an article from the past, acknowledging that its authenticity and factual evidence remained unclear. He highlighted an interesting aspect of the article, where an artifact with distinct Egyptian or Tibetan designs was discovered, challenging the assumption of Native American origin. This discovery raised thought-provoking questions about the possibility of an entire Egyptian civilization residing in the region and how they might have arrived there. The conversation left room for speculation and further exploration of the mysteries surrounding ancient civilizations and their potential interactions with distant lands. And let's not forget the burial grounds. The ancient people of the Grand Canyon were buried with great care, accompanied by the best pottery they had to offer. It was believed to provide them with a smooth journey into the afterlife. People claimed to have seen colorful cursed artifacts that were used as a form of protection by the ancient ones. Can you imagine the significance of these objects and the stories they hold? Now, the existence of these ancient civilizations in the Grand Canyon is still a subject of debate. Some skeptics question the validity of these claims, but the presence of fossilized footprints dating back 300 million years or more cannot be ignored. The Grand Canyon has witnessed the passage of time and the footprints of countless creatures, leaving behind a rich tapestry of history. The discovery of fossilized footprints has provided us with incredible insights into the ancient world. These tracks tell tales of prehistoric life and allow us to piece together the puzzle of Earth's history. It's truly remarkable how something as simple as a footprint can hold such profound significance. The first segment of footprints takes us back to the era of dinosaurs. Can you picture yourself standing next to massive footprints left behind by mighty T-Rexes? It's both awe-inspiring and humbling. These footprints have been found in various parts of the world, giving us a glimpse into the size and behavior of these incredible creatures. But it's not just dinosaurs that left their mark. Even our early human ancestors have left their footprints for us to discover. One famous example is the Laetoli footprints found in Tanzania, Africa. These footprints, estimated to be around 3.6 million years old, were made by our distant relatives, Australopithecus afarensis. Can you imagine walking side by side with these ancient beings? And let's not forget the coastal areas that have revealed footprints from creatures that lived in the sea. Fossilized tracks of ancient marine reptiles such as ichthyosaurs and plesiosaurs, have been found in places like England and Germany. These footprints offer a glimpse into the lives of creatures that ruled the oceans during the age of dinosaurs. It's like finding a hidden treasure chest of prehistoric secrets. But how do these footprints survive for millions of years, you may wonder? Well, Mother Nature has a way of preserving these ancient imprints. When creatures walked on soft sediment like mud or sand, their footprints left depressions that later filled with sediment or hardened into rock. Over time, the layers of sediment turned into stone, preserving the footprints for us 
to discover centuries later. Finding these footprints is no easy task. It often requires a combination of luck, patience, and the skilled eye of paleontologists and fossil hunters. They scour rocky outcrops, search riverbanks, and even explore deep underground to uncover these precious remnants of the past. It's like being on a never-ending treasure hunt, and the thrill of discovery keeps them going. So next time you find yourself strolling along a beach or hiking through rocky terrain, take a moment to imagine the ancient footprints that might lie beneath your feet. Each step you take connects you to the vast tapestry of life that has unfolded on this planet over millions of years. It's a reminder of our place in the grand scheme of things and the incredible stories that nature has to tell. But what does the future hold for the exploration of the Grand Canyon? Will we uncover more evidence of ancient humans and their remarkable achievements? Only time will tell, but one thing is for sure. The Grand Canyon continues to captivate us with its secrets, and as we continue to peel back the layers of time, who knows what incredible discoveries await us? It's a thrilling prospect, my friends. There you have it, folks the mind-boggling discoveries that Joe Rogan unveiled about the Grand Canyon. Who knows what the next big discovery will be? If you have any theories or thoughts, let us know in the comments below. And as always, stay curious, stay amazed, and stay tuned for more mind-blowing revelations.